Alright guys, welcome to the Upstate Angler. Um, we're up here in Charlotte, New York. Uh, we're going to try to fish this harbor. I uh, had a lot of luck here last year. Caught everything from sunfish all the way to walleye and pike. So we're going to tie on a jig and a curly tail. And then uh, if that doesn't work, we're just going to get the classic Panther Martin and see what we can get. We'll see you out there. All right, we got a Kitek swim bait tied onto a jig right now. Just gonna kind of alternate between a bump and a slow roll here. See if we can't get anything to bite it here. This isn't really where we usually fish. I'm gonna work my way around the building and get over to where we usually fish. Going back and forth here between a slow retrieve and just bumping it. I just had a hit on the last cast. Hopefully we can get one to take take it. Pretty soon here we'll be tying on the black and yellow gold blade classic Panther Martin. It's one of my go-to's anytime I'm in a new spot or just want to catch a variety. Oh, there was a nice hit right there. Anytime I want to catch a variety of species, I'll throw on the Panther Martin. It's always been good. There's a hit right there. Oh, I missed him. Boy. Must be a small walleye right here. Yeah, he just about took the swim bait right off of it. Shredded it. Let's try it one more time out there. They're hitting it right on the drop. Not even giving it a chance to finish hitting the bottom. They're just taking it. They are slamming it. Get another cast right here before this boat comes. See if we can get something to take it on the fall again. Maybe this time we'll be ready for it. missed it. Whatever it was, it's not sitting there anymore. Well, we'll try this spot for a few more minutes anyway.
think I got a big drum on. It looks big. Oh yeah, monster drum. Definitely my PB drum if I can get it landed. He's really trying hard to get me caught up in these posts. This thing's got to be 10 pounds. Hope I got that jig tied on good enough. Hey, Don. Good. <laughs> Biggest damn sheephead I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> He's a monster. I just got to get him all the way around to be able to land him. I can't land him here. Uh, some guys eat it. I don't. I just catch and release everything. I mean, this guy is a monster if I can get him landed. I think my biggest sheep head is probably half this size. He's a monster. Well, he's still got a little bit of fight left in him. Talked to some sheriffs last year. They said a lot of guys fish right there for walleye, you know, late afternoon, evening. But I've only ever caught walleye in the harbor, so. Yeah. <laughs> He's a monster. Yeah, sheep head, freshwater drum. As long as I can get them landed, I'll be good. I don't know. Well, I don't know a lot about sheep head, but I mean, if it's 10 pounds, I'd say it's at least 10 years old, 15 years old. He's a big one. Yeah, I'd say the biggest one I've ever caught was, I think, around five pounds. This is easily double that. I mean, if he only knew he was going to be released. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't keep too many fish. I, uh, if I catch a nice walleye, I'll keep that, but. Don't come off of there. Oh yeah. Can I just take a quick look at that? Absolutely. Boy, he inhaled my swim bait and everything. Thank you, got it. My buddy's oh, this is, this, oh, yeah, this is probably 15 pounds. This is a monster. Alright, hold that up. Oh! Ooh. Got him. Good. Oh my god, awesome dude. Thank you. That's, that's a trophy right there, huh? That sure is. Too bad you don't eat them. <laughs> god. Uh, is your hook still in him? Oh no, I got that out already. I just want to get a decent picture of him. Well, I wish I had my scale down here. That'd be oh, great. Oh yeah, I 
no way I'm holding on to that. Oh my god, I can't even get a decent picture of him. Do you mind taking a picture for me? No, not at all. I got it on timer. Let me cut it off of that. There you go. Oh, I gotta be able to get a hold of him first. My god. That thing is ready, huge. Dude? Oh yeah. You got it, man. Awesome. Thank you so much. You got it. That is a giant. <laughs> Easily the biggest sheep head I've ever caught. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a sheep head, a freshwater drum. Yeah. Caught him way over there. I had to bring him over here just to land it. No, no, I was just fishing. Yeah, I was fishing off the end of the concrete over there. Oh my god. Easily 15 pounds. He's huge. You're just gonna have to stand That's okay. Oh, it's gonna get heavier. Yeah, that 15 pounder. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you guys. The fish is like enough is enough. Let yep. Me go. Yep. Come on, buddy. There he goes. Oh. Yeah, he'll pick back up yeah, as soon as he gets realize. his bearings. Yeah. As, soon he gets some air. as soon as he gets some air and gets his bearings, he'll be out of here. There he goes. He's out of here. That was awesome. I just had a moon eye jig on that Kytec swim bait. And he just bent that hook. Bent it at almost a 45 degree angle. Easily a 15 pound sheep head. That thing was absolutely giant. Never caught one anywhere near that size. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Upstate Angler. Uh, we didn't have a great day, but I caught a new PB. Got the entire thing from bite to catch. All on video today. I'm a little bit late to go make sure I'm home in time for my son, so I got to get out of here. But uh, uh, hopefully get you some more videos here pretty soon. Uh, we got some golf course ponds we're going to do. If you go over to uh, my buddy, the Finger Lakes Outdoorsman, he's got a few good videos of that golf course. Um, we'll hit a few rivers between now and the next time you hear from us. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.